Good morning, practical filmmaker. We're here in Taiwan. Welcome to The Practical Filmmaker, an educational podcast brought to you by the Filmmaker Institute and Sunscreen Film Festival, where industry professionals talk nuts and bolts and the steps they took to find their success today. Find the full transcripts and more at thepracticalfilmmaker.com. I'm your host, Tanya Musgrave, and today will look a little different than normal episodes. It'll be a bit of a mini update with Sydney Tooley, who we've been following during her journey as a first-time director. I'm putting this one together actually right before I'll be seeing her at our sponsor's event, Sunscreen Film Festival. It's a student film festival dedicated to creating relevant productions for social awareness, outreach, and uplifting creative entertainment. And it's held in SoCal, and it starts today, technically. Um, and we'll get a chance to do a live Practical Filmmaker panel with some Sunscreen alumni, see where they're feature projects have taken them, where they're at in the process, uh, what challenges they faced, all that fun. And Sydney will be on that panel. But if you remember back to this past July, uh, we did the first episode of a series with her and she was in the throes of shooting her first fully funded feature, Sun Moon, um, for Sonia Firm. And I was able to drop in and day play for a couple of days there in Nashville. And then they were supposed to quickly jet set to Taiwan for the second round of production. But 2021 and international travel, you know, you do the math. So fast forward five months um, and Sydney recorded an update. It's the day after Christmas and she's caught in limbo. Okay. So it's been a minute since I made one of these videos. Um, I think the last one I made literally was after... um, Sun Moon finished and I was extremely discouraged and I spent the last five months really living in that discouragement and trying to find myself again because there was a lot of things that happened that I wasn't happy about. I didn't handle things 100% well, Um, but you know, I was blessed with time to find myself again. And today is December 26th and I spent Christmas alone this year because I'm just exhausted and, you know, and it was really good for me. Uh, I woke up on Christmas Eve day and was like, I got to get myself together. Uh, I started reading screenplays. I started reading this directing book by Ken Quapis, who is just like such an inspiration and is so, his book is, I wish I'd read his book before because I think it would have helped me a lot in my my own journey directing. But um, you know what, like I'm gonna get back up today and I feel like I suddenly like have the strength to go forward again and finish this film because I went through like some really dark times where I was like, I hate this movie. I don't want to finish this movie. It feels like I'm never going to finish this movie. (sighs) And, um, and I grieved it, I think. And I let myself grieve it because, because sometimes we need time. And I look back at the last five months and I think, well, shoot, I had so much time. And that's so rare to have that so much time that feels just so wasted because I could have done something. I could have written the next thing. I could have moved forward and I was too depressed to do it. And, and I kicked myself for it because it's just like, it's such a luxury to have that much time. And I felt like all of my drive was gone. I felt like everything that I worked for was gone. And I was teaching and I had these college kids who were just making stuff and I was like man how great would it be to go back there and make short films again and be like you know and it's it was hard because you have a lot of them like looking up to you and I'm like I'm dying like I feel horrible I felt horrible after we finished the first week and It was really difficult acting like everything was fine and that everything ended fine and that everything was, you know, like it was fun directing and da-da-da because like parts of it were fun, but like the last 
half was absolutely horrific and not fun at all and horrible. And I walked away thinking like, I'm such a failure and I haven't, and I just couldn't get it together, man. And now I feel that fire again, coming back, being like, you're going to do it. You're going to do it because what else, what else can I do? <laughs> so I'm going to keep us updated here because this is really important part of the healing journey, I think. And just being okay with the, where you're at and being okay with moving at the pace that you need to move. Um, and I, I'm hoping that these next two weeks are going to be some of the most productive weeks that I've ever had. And I'm going to get shit done. That's what's going to happen. So I'm pulling out this book again. I put it down. I, the last thing I put down in here. Um, man, I stopped so early on, like in May. But I'm starting this today. My journey, again, this book helps me track my journey. Uh, I want to be healthier. I want to be more um, productive. I want to, you know, do all these things. And I want to be healthy and mentally, like, okay while I'm doing it and not killing ourselves. Because we have this mindset that we have to continually be grinding, 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 and we don't listen to our bodies or our minds or anything that tells us like, you need to take a break and step back. And I have been fighting that and now I'm not going to anymore. So this is my update to myself. I'm going to go back and rewatch those videos and see what happened, but it's not over and I'm not done and I'm not gonna drive before I'm 30, and I'm not gonna freak out about the future, and everything's gonna be okay. Because it has to be. This probably sounds like I'm having a whole existential crisis, which I am all the time, which is fine, but I just feel hope again. It's been a very hopeless five months, so. Just thought I'd update everybody. <laughs> Yay, okay, that's it. Well, after Christmas, COVID, wildfires, and drought, finally in February, they were able to go to Taiwan and kickstart the adventures of shooting with an international crew. If you want to see the accompanying videos to this audio, uh, check out our Insta at Practical Filmmaker. Otherwise, enjoy. Good morning, Practical Filmmaker. We're here in Taiwan. It is a beautiful, stunning day, and so we're going to go out to a couple of our filming locations so you can see it's beautiful. What are we doing? We're shooting in a grocery store, but we're trying to do it really fast because they're like not super into it, but it's great. We're gonna be good. It's really, really cool. Look. They're helping somebody get their groceries so we can shoot because they really want something right now. <laughs> just hold the roll and do one more pan for me for safety. Uh, back uh, to the, uh, yeah, pat and left. We are at Sun Moon looking at the wedding location. And look at those mountains come out of the mist like that. It's like Lord of the Rings. Everything what a pretty cool. shot. Everything is Lord of the Rings. Don't fall in the ditch. So, are you ready? We're only gonna do like five, okay? Okay, so, we're going. Hey, come on. Are we alive? Can we feel alive? Yay! Yeah. Hey, my dad got my ATM card stuck in the ATM, so we're buying pliers, and now we're gonna go get it out of the ATM. And it's raining. What happened today? We shot Sun Moon Lake in the sun. I'm tired, I need a shower. But we got some beautiful shots, and a sunset shot, and 
Lots of really cool gimbal shots. And it's beautiful. This is a scene. This is like the scene. Everybody was crying. That's all. I'm gonna go to bed now. So this is my room. This is what happens when you're uh, directing. Don't let this happen. It's chaos. Yeah, this is bad. And I have like less than an hour to get it all together. <laughs> What happened? Ooh. We just wrapped him up. I can't talk very much because I'm gonna cry. Ooh. I didn't think I'd be this emotional. <laughs> but, whew. okay. I'm better now. <laughs> um, this has been crazy. I love this team. This team is like literally the best. It's a lot. I need a process. I need a vacation. <laughs> we did it. It's beautiful. And I'm excited. Now I'm gonna go edit after I like, go on vacation. Stay tuned for when we actually sit down with Sydney to get the full scoop of production in Taiwan. Until then, be well and God bless. We'll see you next time on The Practical Filmmaker.